Is your Windows 11 or Windows 10 PC running slow? You've come to the right place. In this video, I'll guide you through all the tweaks to speed it up. Let's dive in. The first thing we're going to do is to disable transparency effect. Right click the start button on the taskbar and select settings. In the left panel, click personalization, scroll down on the right side and look for the colors section. Under colors, toggle the switch next to the transparency effect to off. Now disabling transparency can offer a slight performance boost, especially on older computers. The second thing we're going to do is to uninstall apps. From the left menu, click apps, then installed apps. This will list all the applications on your computer. Look for apps you don't use and uninstall them. For example, to uninstall the family app, click the three dots and choose uninstall. Repeat this for any unwanted apps. These are likely blotware which can safely be removed. You'll also see a list of third parties applications you've installed manually. Again, uninstall any you no longer need by clicking the three dots and selecting uninstall. Another thing we're going to do is to enable game mode to boost performance. In the left menu, click gaming, locate game mode option and ensure it is enabled. Another thing we're going to disable is the Xbox game bar if you don't use it. Return to the gaming section and locate Xbox game bar option. Toggle the switch to off. Next thing we're going to do is to disable few options from the privacy and security. From the left hand menu, select privacy and security. Click on general and disable all the options here. Go back and click on speech, linking and typing and diagnostics and feedback and these sections Disable all the notifications as well. Scroll down to the app permissions. If you don't use locations, camera, or microphone, you can disable them as well. Continue scrolling down and disable permissions for calendar, phone calls, call, history, email, task, messages, and radios. You most likely don't need these running in the background and slowing down your performance. Another thing we can do to improve performance is to delete the temporary files. From the left hand menu, select system and then click on storage. Here you'll find the option for temporary files. It might take a moment to calculate the space they are using. Click on temporary files to see the breakdown of all the categories. Select the categories you don't need. For example, if you rarely download files, uncheck the download option. You could check the recycle bin if you haven't emptied it recently. Once you've chosen the category to delete, click remove files to delete the junk and free up space. Another thing we're going to do is to adjust windows for better performance. Close the settings app in the windows search bar type sysdm.cpl and press enter. This opens the system property window. Click on the advanced tab under performance, click on settings, change the option from let windows choose what's best for my computer to adjust for best performance. Enable specific animations you find visually appealing, for example, animate controls and elements inside windows, show thumbnails instead of icons, and smooth edges of screen font. Click apply and then OK twice to save the changes. Another thing we're going to do is to enable ultimate performance. In the Windows search bar, type power, 
cfg.cpl and press enter. This opens the power options window. Look for the high performance or ultimate performance plan. If you see either plan, select it and close the window. If neither plan is visible, click show additional plans and check again. If still unavailable, you can try enabling the ultimate performance plan through the command prompt. In the Windows search bar, type CMD and right click on the command prompt, then select run as an administrator. Copy and paste the command into the command prompt window. You can find the command in the description box and press enter and close the command prompt window. You should now see the ultimate performance plan, select it and close the window. And the last thing we're going to do is to deep load windows so that we can get the maximum performance. In the windows search bar, type CMD and right click on the command prompt, then select run as an administrator. Click yes to confirm. In the command prompt window, copy and paste the provided command and press enter. You'll find the command in the description box below. This should launch Chris Tidus Tech Twix tool. From the top menu of the tool, select Tweaks. Choose between desktop or laptop depending on your system. Review the options and the essential tweaks and advanced tweaks. You could read here before disabling functionalities like user account control, notifications, OneDrive or Microsoft Edge. Once you've selected your desired options, click run tweaks and wait for the process to complete. And now restart your computer and once it restarts, you should notice a huge difference in performance. And that's all for today. I hope this video was helpful. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more content. See you in the next video. Bye for now.